Today's video is going to be about as decoding the 90s look, something that's really trending right now. I'll be showing you 90s inspired makeup, which is very glamorous but also wearable. We're going to be looking towards 90s pop culture and supermodels for inspiration. I have also partnered with Amazon India for this video, so you can see all of the products used in the description bar below. I'm going to start this look off by prepping my skin with my favorite Claire Serum. This one just hydrates and makes sure that my makeup goes on really well later on. It's 2023 and we're definitely not skipping sunscreen. I recently started using this sunscreen stick which is so easy to put on. It does give broad spectrum protection and it's also really wonderful over makeup. So you can use this for reapplications if you're going to have a long day outside. 90s for me is definitely about big hair. Make sure that your hair is not flat. You definitely need volume. I'm going to be doing a blowout today. I first used a heat protectant and now I'm using my Dyson Air app. But you can get a very similar look by using a round brush and a blow dryer. Just make sure to pull the brush a little bit so you're creating tension with the blowout and you want lifted roots and a whole lot of volume. As a decade, 90s were definitely about flawless base. So I'm using this full coverage. Revlon foundation that does give a matte finish and I'm going to blend it all out with this mini real techniques brush that's actually quite handy. Now I'm going to move on to eye makeup starting with brows. I recently bought this cool double sided brow product. It does have brow fibers on one side and a highlight on the other side. It's very easy to use and it just makes my brows look naturally thick which I love. The 90s to me means smoky brown liner. So I'm going to be starting with this pencil liner. I'll apply a thick line. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going in with a smudger brush. I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit. This is just a really cool way to get a sultry smoky eye if you do not enjoy using eyeshadow. Then I'm going in with a brown liquid liner and I'm going to add another line closer to my lash line to get some definition. And I'm going to top all of that off with a little bit of mascara. What fun that this mascara also shares its name with a really cool song from the 90s. I don't think I'll ever get enough of soft brown smoky eyes. While I do love a visible blush, the 90s are definitely about subtlety in that area. So I'm going in with this natural brown shade and just applying it with a brush. This video actually has two different lip options so I'm gonna go with the simpler one first. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. It's a classic formula, a creamy matte. The shade is called Superstar Brown. It is a very wearable brown color that just looks really good. I think it pulls the look together so beautifully. Now we're gonna move on to the second lip option. This actually features three products. We have to start with a really dark lip liner. This is Color Bar's Chocolate Brown. Draw a thick line around the outside of the lips. Avoid overlining. Just go with your natural lip shape. Also take some lines inside like so. And then you need another lipstick. Go for a very pale nude. Something that would normally wash you out. You actually want this. Put this on the inner part of your lips and the contrast of shades is what's going to create the drama of this look. And finally, you're going to go in with a clear lip gloss. Just apply it on the central part of your lips because gloss does always migrate outwards anyway. And don't forget to wipe the applicator before you put it back in the tube. The juicy ombre lips do take three products and a little bit of extra work but the end result is always worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'd love to know which lip look you prefer. I think I'm partial to the matte brown. I really love the ombre lips also. Can't decide. I'm gonna leave you with this little clip of me being super coordinated. Thanks for watching. Oh and happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you guys in my next video.